As one of the many federal agencies involved, we continue with our deliberate and phased support for emerging FEMA requirements. The first team of 222 personnel, uh, we've talked about this team before, uh, they arrived in California and they'll be operational, we expect, by Monday, supporting a mega vaccination site in Los Angeles. The Secretary has authorized an additional 20 teams to support FEMA at vaccination sites around the country. Ten of these teams will be type one of the same ones that we talked about last week, 222 personnel supporting a mega, vaccine, mega vaccination sites. Uh, and then the other ten will be smaller type two teams of 139 personnel supporting smaller vaccination sites. These 20 teams are being organized to support FEMA identified sites and will be deployed as requirements evolve. This will bring our total now to more than 4,700 active duty personnel supporting or preparing to support FEMA. We don't want to move too fast so that we're overwhelming the process or the system. That's not the goal. The goal is to make sure, as I said, that we're poised and ready uh, the moment that uh, a team is needed. And so uh, it's, it's a FEMA-led process. We respect that process. And we understand that, um, you know, that there's a lot that goes into this. It's not you can't just mandate. Uh, you can't just tell a state or a, a city that, well, this is convention center or this is the stadium and that's where it's going to be. That, that has to be negotiated and worked out with them.